this is Matthew with B.I. Polar, and in today's video, we are going to look at the art of the possible. Let's take a look. In our last video, we took a look at training and different aspects of how training is important for any organization that is building a data culture. Today's video builds on that but we're going to look specifically at the fact that you only have one chance to make a first impression. And this saying has been around long enough that it's kind of a trait stereotype, but it's true. Imagine if the first time that you came and you saw a Power BI report, it looked like this. I'd like to point out, this is probably the prettiest report that I have ever built. But I am not a data visualization person. I am the last person that you want building a report. But I have also seen ugly, ugly, slow, poor performing, awfully designed reports in production used by dozens or hundreds of users. Now imagine if this was what you had seen and this was what you thought of when you thought of Power BI or when you thought of self-service business intelligence inside your organization. How likely would you be to build your own report? Or how likely is it that the reports that you build will inspire and encourage others? I have a teammate. His name is Miguel, and I call him Miguel Angelo, and I'll put a link to his blog down in the, uh, uh, the links for this video. But Miguel is a wizard. He does amazing things with both the beauty and the design and the usability and the interactivity of reports. And when I am talking to a customer or a new user and I want to show off what they can do using Power BI, what will I show them? Will I show them my report? Or will I show them one of Miguel's beautiful Michelangelo reports? I definitely don't show them mine. Because any time that a user is introduced to a tool, think about your first experience with Power BI Desktop, you are looking at a blank page. You're looking at a starting point with lots of potential, but no clear direction on how you go from this neutral starting point to building something amazing and building the insights that you can share across your team or across your organization. And this is where the art of the possible comes in. As part of the community and as part of the training that your organization, that your center of excellence is building as part of your effort to develop a data culture, you need to have resources that demonstrate what can be done. You need to have demos that show how to start from nothing to build something that aligns with the goals that you have for managed self-service BI inside your organization. Ideally, you will have templates that show uh, a, a work in progress or the building blocks to get you closer than that blank page or the blank canvas closer to that beautiful ideal solution. I've worked with a few enterprise customers, enterprise Power BI customers, where rather than having their users start from a brand new PBIX file when they're authoring a new solution inside of Power BI Desktop, their center of excellence team has developed a set of PBIT templates that include the connections, that include blank pages that have examples of how to use different types of visualizations with the corporate branding and themes and page layouts uh, applied, along with a few hidden pages that include guidance, that include linked internal training documentation. And during that initial author training, these organizations will say, when you are starting with Power BI Desktop, go to this SharePoint site, download the template that is the appropriate starting point for you, and use that as the beginning point for your authoring journey. Not everyone does this, but imagine if you were brand new to Power BI Desktop, how empowering this would be, and how much more likely it would be 
that your first report would look more like the beautiful report that my teammate Miguel would create and not the awful uh, report that I might create uh, personally. In addition to demos and templates, it's often useful to have showcases of what's possible. I worked with a customer uh, in London. So last summer I was in London and the day that I arrived, I spent time with the BI Center of Excellence at this large UK based company. And I actually had the opportunity to sit in on one of their weekly lunch and learn sessions. It was the end of the day in London, but they were targeting a US audience for some of this. And basically they had a power user sit down and walk through an end to end step uh, looking at Power BI and SharePoint, and I think that it was Power Automate. I forget at this point what the third product was, but they looked at both what these tools could do in the context of their audience and how they could work together. And it was simple. It was like 100 level introductory content, but the questions and the comments and the feedback they got from the users on the call, it showed that everyone was inspired and informed and that they would be taking these skills and putting them to work for their day-to-day -day jobs, doing things with Power BI that they simply didn't know were possible before that session. One technique that I've seen used successfully in multiple organizations is the idea of having within your user community, within that community of practice, having contests or other community-driven showcases that will give a specific set of tasks. So use your data source to produce this sort of thing uh, with these characteristics, maybe to show integration with Power Apps or to show the key influencers visual being used for a specific data domain. And these are both real examples that I've seen over the past year or so. But with this contest idea, it's a way to encourage and motivate people to demonstrate the art of what's possible for them. And if you have the voice of the expert, you know, the, the guy who runs the center of excellence or the, the woman who runs the center of excellence, demonstrating all of the cool new things or all of the things that are possible, even though this is valuable in and of itself, there is something inherently motivating and empowering to see your peers, to see the people that do the same sort of job that you do, maybe on a different team or in a different part of the organization. But when you see people that you can relate to and they're building these amazing things that you didn't realize was possible, not only do you know that it is possible to do it, you know that it is possible for you to do it. So having an internal user group where the community of practice can get together and to have not just the experts get together uh, to show what's possible, but to have users from across the organization show what's possible. This is as empowering as anything else. And keep in mind, of course, I've mentioned my colleague Miguel a few times. Uh, if you know uh, his work in the Power BI community, I've only seen a handful of people around the world whose reports rise to the same level. But even though the work that is done inside your community may not end up in the Louvre, it's still worth demonstrating. It's still worth putting on display because everyone who is looking at that blank page uh, or looking at the blank canvas inside of Power BI Desktop, they need inspiration they need to know what's possible so that they can turn their data into a work of art. I hope this was useful. We'll be back next week. We'll see you then.